this, well, the morning after the night before, and the weather has turned. I don't need to go up and check the gate because that has already been done. Um, I don't even think it was locked last night. I think I must have forgot. But um, it's more than me out there checking the gate and maybe not what was up in the area. But um, yeah, all three wuglets are out. Ollie being lazy as usual. Ollie, Ollie, what's this? Can't ever get him to look at the camera. <gasps> Ollie, 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 Ollie. Fine, I'll come to you then. Hello, Ollie. Ollie, what's this? What's this? Being lazy, mate, you know. But right now, I'm going to sit my ass down and watch a bit of telly. Catch up on YouTube a bit. Alright, YouTube. Me and Ben are off to our little... Um, the walking area no not here we're gonna go and try somewhere different if I get to the bottom of the road and there's a shit ton of traffic I might just come back it depends how much traffic there is at the bottom of the road let's give this vlog a bit of proper length shall we let's go idiot hunting and what I mean by that is people who clearly need to retake their test for various reasons. Now, anyone who knows Harefield will know, try not to get copyright, thank you, Carl. Anyone who knows Harefield will know that the place is littered with drivers like that who clearly need to reset their test. I'm just going to pull out and we're going to go the same way I came in. Now obviously we come out onto a national road, but I'm coming straight into a 30, so I don't ideally want to go over 30, ideally. Plus at that point you should be near enough 30 anyway, so there shouldn't be much of a hold back for you. And if there is a hold back for you, you're probably too close to the car in front anyway. Like I say people, two seconds. You should be behind the other car in front of you. So I'm just going along the road with cruise control set to 30, which is what the speed limit of the road is. And we'll see if anyone tries to overtake. I'm just going to set my cruise control to about 29, 28 going down here. So the car will speed up. It's just a way of keeping an eye on the speed. So I have got a Citroen behind me closing in. And whether they're going to realise that I'm doing the speed limit and I'm not going to go over it. We'll see. They look like they're keeping a respectable distance, so at the moment. Come on Mr. Bad Pie. I'm gonna run you over. How unlucky that would be. Not just for you but for me as well. You know how the same goes. Oh that's a fox I'm sorry. A little like a citron from a distance. Shape it with the L. So we're coming in to probably one of the most bottlenecked areas. Well, areas that is probably too bottlenecking. And um, I just put my um, aircon on gentle for the window. Now I'm just going to give this guy three flashes of the indicator just to say to come out. Just so he knows that. We're going to have to go around the hazard. So you get people parked along the whole side of the right bit of the road here. There's a car coming out, I, d I think. I don't know what they're doing, so I'm just going to see what this car does. I can know the Ford's waiting. Not the 
pedestrian coming across the road, maybe, no. It's getting, in, getting into a fan. These are also, when you see these kind of videos, they're also great hazard perception tests. So I would consider looking at them. Even if you've been on the road 10, 20 years, it's worth just keeping an eye on them, just keep looking at them, because more and more hazards develop. I've got a guy coming round the right, but he's not in my immediate hazard point. Side, so I'm just going to pull in and just allow them to pass but I'm not going to come to a complete stop I'm going to come to a roll because then that way it shows I'm not intending to stop I'm just intending on getting out the way of someone who is quite clearly up my backside and I can allow a whole burst of cars to go you know, they want to go faster than me. That's their choice. If they want to risk getting done for a speed limit, that's on them, not on you. You concentrate on your own driving, don't concentrate on anyone else's. If they're getting close to you and to the point it's distracting, let them go. Or don't pull up in the bus stop because you can get told off for that. Find somewhere else to pull over, out of the way, I'm just going to that pothole there. And then you'll be clear to go. Right, now I'm going to set my car to 30 miles an hour. I tell the cruise control, you can now do the speed limit again. No, we're not going downhill anymore. That's got to be the most random bus route I've seen. That's from Upsbridge up Harville Road, which is the road if you go straight on from this roundabout. Down um, the hill, uh, Park Lane, and then back up in again into Harefield Hospital. I don't know get the room. So I just allowed a little bit of extra swing room for that ambulance if he needed it. He clearly didn't. There was a ton when I was coming up. Like I was already in the system and this lady just kept going. I'm like, I, I had to stop. I'm like, can you not see me here? And she goes, oh well, she, you have to give way still. And I'm like, not when I'm already in the bloody system, love. It's too late at that point. Hang on, will we have a motorbike overtake on the corner here? And all that, I don't know why it keeps beeping. I'm still doing 30. My bike, can I be patient and wait for me to speed up? Looks like he is. He's being patient. So I'm going to do 35 just to show him I do intend on speeding up. And there you are. Now I set my um, cruise control to 40. Now, if you're wondering why I was speeding up to a set of traffic lights, is because I know for a fact them lights will not change if you're within three seconds of it. It has a sensor on it, will not allow the light to change until it 
until you are within a second of it. And then you can get through before it goes red. Why are you beeping? Is there something up here, the car? Doesn't well better not hurt. I think this has just turned more into a driving lesson, really, hasn't it? Oh well, beggars can't be choosy, I suppose. I suppose one thing I can teach you quick here. Pay attention to these lights. You're not on the sensor, mate. That light's never going to change for you. You see like a little square on the road, park on top of it. And that's the sensor. Turn that off, don't need it. Now I'm just waiting for that light to change. And you, you should see a green arrow appear. Might take a minute. Now there you go. See, there's the green arrow. So now I'm going to tell my car, because it's got a start-stop system, to come on, because that's why. My light will end up being green. So just double-checking that light's not going to go red. Yeah, we're good. Right. Adds another little 10 minutes to the video. I will see you guys... Probably at home. I don't have much plans today. We will, um. That was a bit of an old car on the back there. Oh no, it's a Porsche. I saw it from a different way, that's why. But, um. Yeah, I don't have much plans today, so we'll just. Shall we just make it up as it goes along? As the day goes along? Be more fun, won't it? Normally I indicate right out there, but because no one was behind me, I'm not coming to. I'm a cheeky flash of the headlights. Mm. Sorry, God, put it in gear two then. See, there you go. They call me an idiot if we're an idiot hunting. Putting it into gear two when I need to pull off. Right. Jesus, woman, I just said thank you. Look, she gave me bloody hell. So you can't say thank you anymore without giving a look, getting a look even. Yeah, I will see you at home. These dogs are absolute sparko, aren't they, Nan? All three of them. Did I just hear that right? You just caught in and now you got to go do the yours. And believe it or not, YouTube, it's already the afternoon. And I forgot to say this. Mum's back, and me and Belle, I don't, care, I don't know where the hell she's gone, but but we are going to be heading up to the yard, so me, Belle, Mum, Rosie and Ollie, because we've got the two labs up there as well. Hang on. Mum, the other two dogs are labs as well, aren't they? The other two dogs are labs, aren't they? Archie and Gus. Huh? Right. Oh, look, my glasses have got the sunglasses mode. She should have seen them earlier in the day. They can pale as anything. Oh, wait. You did see them earlier in the day. Right. While I'm here, I'm going to get the car to check the tyre pressure. And hopefully, it don't tell me you may as well go in Mum's car. Because if it tells me that, then the tyres are fucked. I'll tell you what though, we can do a manual inspection of them. And you feel like you've got about a month on you before you need changing. Oh, I'm going to change you this weekend. You're getting close. The reason why I film these clips and put them on is because I can look back on it. Oh, you've got ages. It's um, so I can notify myself. Yeah, you can get changed with that tyre next month. That way I'll look back at this vlog at the weekend and I'll sort of remind myself which tyres actually need doing. And um, 
I was talking to a mate the other day and he goes, wouldn't it be so good if they could like invent a self-repairing tire where it would repair the tread? They wouldn't have to worry about it. And I go, well, see, the thing is, so you'd have to sort out the, um, uh, make a reason for it to stop um, having blowouts. If that makes sense, you'd have to reduce the risk of blowouts because even a self-fixing tire, I mean, that's a point of no return. The tire blows up, you fun. A little bit of a funny, cheeky joke as well. My mate, who has a Morris Minor, he says, how do I know if the car's tires are PSI or bar? And I said to him, when it explodes. And <laughs> we just started having a little laugh. Oh, there's the other freaking rug. I'm on you. Lucy! Oh, what happened? Did you get a bit of wind up your ear, oh? Seven hours later. <laughs> Still waiting for Nan to get back. Probably just gone for a little walk around the site. That mother daughter bond with them two. Belle, come here, you're not going for the broom. Belle! Oi, come here. You little rascal. Cut them, them two together. She's got the mad ball. Well, not the mad ball, but you get the idea. I'm going to go play in this field. Yeah, the tractor does work somehow. There you are, Gus. Belle, we have been playing up and down this hill. How the hell are you not knackered? Don't let the camera fool you. It does not do it any bloody justice. But Anna and Mum will second you. It does not do it any justice how steep it actually is. She's like, I ain't moving. I oh, know she is now. Belle, come on. I got to put on the lead, and I just got back YouTube, and I'm just gonna head up to the thing and see what time the gate shuts now. Oh God, I just had a funny moment, right? So I just seen my one of my um, American mates who lives down the road. <laughs> the car came past, you know, wrecking the bollocks out of his motor, you know, as them kind of car drivers do. He goes, oh, that's a nice car. I just go, dickhead. <laughs> that just shows you the difference between the two nationalities there. The Americans are appre appreciating these cars. Uh, if we see anyone wearing the bollocks out of their motor, we just call them a dickhead. Regardless of where we know them. It's just so true, though, isn't it? That's just such a stereotypically true thing. Oh, right, I better go get the leads out. They can't get them. Right, get the dogs in, the dogs are in. Right, catch us in a sec. Garden's looking really good, Mum. I'm big up Mum in the comments, uh, keeping this garden good, even though the hedge is gone. Looks good, Mum. What are you eating? I'll eat here and then on the side. Or I usually do. <laughs> you pick a place to sort of child. Oh, I can't be asked to turn the camera around, guys, so I'm just going to, go to, going to end the vlog now. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know how long this vlog will be, but howdy ho. It'll be fun trying to figure it out, so see you in a bit. I was going to try to do a thumb shadow thing, but I think I need like another phone's light to do that. In a bit.